the show has baseball from the Valley of the Sun, Chase Field in Phoenix. Tonight, the finale of this four-game set between the Atlanta Braves and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Merrill Kelly, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They come into this one fresh off a victory last time out that ended a six game losing streak. Hey, Matty V, you know, if there's such a good thing as splitting a series, dear old, this is the one. They lose the first two games of this series, win game three. They'd like nothing more than to split this series and win game four. Yeah, Bobby Cox always used to say, you got to take care and beat the teams you're supposed to beat and then play 500 against the really good teams. They have a chance to do that exactly today. Drop the first two, but if they can win today, they split this series and move on. To one and two now. Albies gets his lead at first, nobody out. Oh, right back to him on the mound. The second for one, on to first, a double play. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. The wind up and the 0 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte able to track it down for the third out. And now here is Tim LoCastro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. For the Diamondback. This is on the, the ground baseman. over to first. Jim. Freeman is up with it. He'll Good. take it to the That's bag right. himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Batting second. Not shortstop. Just Good. does manage to get a piece there oh, as this is bounced foul. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Yep. Get the Open. offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Grounded to first. Freeman's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now it'll that be occurred. Patel Marte. The and Zimmer as you can see, he's seen that Patel. average climb the last week or so. Marte. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Now, well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they suffered a bit of a setback last time out, but not to worry. They're still 6-2 and two over their previous eight ball games. Hey, thanks, Matty. This is a big one here, D-Row. They've won two of the first three of this series. This swing game here, you'd like to win three out of four. I know it, you're at this point, but, boy, a split certainly would not be a good for this ball club right now. Yeah, Dan, to win the first two games, all right, you can live with dropping the third game of the set, but you don't want to end this too. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. He's had a real nice season in the batting average department, but he'll need to turn it on a bit down the stretch if he wants a chance at claiming that coveted batting title. Here's a huge swing by Acuna and a drive to deep left. Gone! A solo shot here to left. 38th home run of the season for him. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. He'll enter play here at 304. A dozen home runs and 64 runs batted in. Called strike at the knees, one and one. Now here it comes. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peralta's after it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Next it'll be Jorge Soler. 
Jorge infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch as it's grounded sharply to first, scooped up in time to first, and there are two away. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Austin Riley comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season, and it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on his swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. Two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. He'll get us going here in the bottom half of the second. One and oh, the count. Now the pitch. Popped straight up. Anderson is there. Makes the play one away. Batting fit. The first pitch. First pitch on its way. Left side. Reined in. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. And stepping in, Eduardo Escobar. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. No balls and a strike to count. Breaking ball chopped foul off to the left side, and he's behind now 0 and 2. Hit hard down the line. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Fouled away. Here's another 2 2. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. So 1 2 3. Go Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Line towards center field. Marte is there and he has it for the first down. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Ian Anderson. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No balls in one strike. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. One and two now to the Braves pitcher. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzie Albies. One for one with a single so far. One ball, no strikes to count. Fouled off. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player after coming off a curveball the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. This is in the air out to right field Calhoun has a read on it and he makes the catch to retire the side Braves are set down one two three. Paul Calhoun will stand in now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the whole third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. 
swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. At the plate now that is it. Carson Kelly who went deep in the Come contest there. last yeah. night. Kelly. And that's inside for a ball one and oh. This right handed pitcher his bread and butter is that two seamer and he loves to throw it inside. Diamondback still searching for that first hit of the ball game. Two and one after the foul ball there. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Once again, a 3 2. Swing and a looper to left. Coming on is Ozuna, and the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. Get the ball for this man. He needs to put that on the mantle. He's been that struggling. The season hasn't no gone picture. according to plan, but he's staying pot committed and grinded Kelly. out a nice knock. Into the box now, Merrill Kelly. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Now back, second base. First offering. Yeah. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And he'll reach over his head to make the play. And a sparkling play it was to end the inning. One left. Leading off of the break. First pitch on the way. Dansby. Dansby Swanson is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. Hard hit at third. He's right there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now one down with the bases empty. And in the bat next, one of the best run producers in the game, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He pulls this one into right. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. Two gone now in the Braves' half of the fourth. And that brings forward Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah, and he wasn't fooled at all by the changeup last time. Kept his hands back and absolutely. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Braves retired on just four pitches. They lead it one to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Not Nick Ahmed. Nick. Ahmed. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Fouled off. The next 0 2. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Outside in a full count, three and two. 
great AB up into this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 now pitch back. at bat. Center fielder, Patel Marte. Patel Marte will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. He tried to get that one airborne, but it's 1 and 2. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. David Peralta is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that no one on with one down. And that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now that and now Austin, Austin Riley he's 0 for 1 Riley. after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far line drive to left that gets down and he's got himself a base hit now battle the catcher Travis Darno. in now Travis Darno hits softly down the line at first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Digging in will be Christian Walker. He starts off the inning against a guy who well, struck the out the that. side yeah. last the inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. Walker. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. One and one. Here it comes. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. Well, it took long enough, but they're finally on the board. We might look back at this shot as a spark they needed to make their bats come alive. Then again, it might just be a blip on the radar. We'll see how the rest of the game unfolds. So here's Eduardo Escobar as the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And it's fouled away. One run, two hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Fouled away. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Next to hit is Carson Kelly, singled in his last at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate, ball one. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three balls and a strike to Carson Kelly. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. He loses him on ball four. 
first pitch coming. Oh, Here it is. Merrill Kelly is no at pitcher. the plate as he takes a cold Merrill. strike one. What a well executed Merrill. fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up nope. the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One for the Diamondbacks, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. Through five innings. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Ladies Jason Kipnis. Your attention, please. Pinch it for Atlanta. Number 22. Jason Kipnis. First offering on its way. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. The average sitting right at 270 on the year. Six home runs and an even 20 RBIs. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Three and oh now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Peralta is under it. One down. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. He's one for two in this one. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Back goes Calhoun at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The and next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Popped him up. Kelly waits on it. And that ends the inning. Ricky Toussaint enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Going to be a tough play. Throw just in time as he was flying down the line that time. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Fastball in there for a called strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Liner toward right center and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. I mean that fires me up right there opposite field knock and in today's game where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way with special. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game, lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. A ball and two strikes now. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two little chopper back to the mound over to Albies on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning we'll see Freddie Freeman start things off when we return seventh inning coming up all tied at new inning set to get underway and set to go is the veteran first baseman Freddie Freeman. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back. The seven. Acuna digs in now. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. There's the big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. Oh. 
And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna, who grounded out last time up. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. That evens it up, 1 and 1. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Put down in order. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Peralta, due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Swing and a liner. Soler is there to put it away for route number one. I know they say sometimes that these things even out. But that was a bullet line drive that gets Walker. caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Christian Walker is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Popped up. Swanson is calling for it. Two down. Eduardo Escobar standing in. Eduardo. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go ahead run. Standing in now, Cole Calhoun has the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. 0 for two from him so far in this one into the corner and slicing foul. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. And it's one and two. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire. The now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Riley Smith will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Josh Rojas will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. So now to the plate, Austin Riley. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Now here's the pitch. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Hard on the ground towards short. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw in time at first for rock number two. The bat. Next, it'll be Travis Darno grounded out in his last at bat. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. One run on three hits and no errors so far for Atlanta. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And your go ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two out double. Might be time to see a pinch hitter, and if that's the case, here's what remains Ladies on the Atlanta bench. You're Kyle Seeger will come on to pinch hit here in a big Atlanta. spot. Number 15, Kyle. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's one and up. One and oh, here it is. Ground 
ball sent back up the middle. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball. Chris Martin is on to pitch out of the now bullpen in the bottom three. half of the eighth. Number first 55. pitch of the A.B. on its way. Three. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Albies has a play, and that's the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 10. So now to the plate, Josh Rojas. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hole, 0 and 2. Hits are now even at four apiece. Fouled off. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ozuna is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now, and stepping in, Tim LaCastro. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. This one's flared down the right field line, and that's in there. Base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side So up steps Ozzy Albies. The second base. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Low and away as he misses again, two and oh. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Lifted into center field. Marte is right there, one down. The battle, number seven. So stepping oh. in is Dansby Swanson. In his last oh. at bat, he popped out in foul ground. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. This one's flared out toward left. Ahmed onto the grass, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. The first baseman, number five. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now finally, they show the some signs of life. Right. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got... And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give them a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. The next to bat for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center and he has broken this one open as this is down for extra bases one run is scored they'll add a big insurance run here as the runner scores from second it's now three to one Dan this the had bat. all the make the right field Jorge Soler. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the now force battle. play is now Good in order. Austin. Riley. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Austin Riley is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation. So you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. To two balls and two strikes now.
Hit on a line, and this one's into center field. That's a base hit. One run scores. And they'll put the brakes on the runner at third, so the bases will remain loaded here with still only one now away. Catch it. Grab it. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. The 1-0. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The 1-1 one, one home. Swing and a liner. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Tried to test the arm that time, but he was having none of it. A great throw to end the frame. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Will Smith, if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Nick Ahmed is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. His career line against Will Smith, he's one for three. And it's fouled away. He's set and the one two pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Now the first pitch. Patel yeah, Marte comes on with field. one gone here as he looks Pitch at a called strike one. Marte. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. And he fouls this one off. Towards second. Throw to first takes care of him, and now the Diamondbacks are down to their final out. Now at the plate, David Peralta comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Arizona down to its last strike. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And the Braves are back in a familiar position, champions of the National League East. And that's what he gets paid to do, shutting them down for another save. That's an even hundred for his career. So congrats are in order. I'm sure he's going to tuck that ball away and put it in his trophy room. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The Atlanta Braves came through and it mattered in the ninth.